Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to add the geometry and materials to our model. Uh, lucky for us, the geometry part is already uh, built in into the example, based on the example online. So we just right-click on geometry and click on uh, import here and find the the model file they have, the drawing for us. It's going to be under RF, uh, microwave engineering, and cancer. And click on import. All right. So, so this is a coaxial cable that is going to be the antenna that's carrying the microwave, and it's going to have our liver tissue here. Let's go ahead and right click on material and add material, rename this to liver tissue, right? And to this, uh, let's select the, the domain for our liver tissue. Make sure you under, you, you have, uh, click on this and remove 234. So the liver is only the liver domain is selected here. Okay, the next part we need to do is, oh, I skipped the perimeter part, but we can always do it later. Um, let's, okay, let's go ahead and do it now. Okay, click on global definition parameters and open up the file for microwave parameters, which is, remember that this is a built-in example, so they already have uh, the files in there already. All I have to use is loaded. Uh, okay, so add another material here and rename this one catheter. Right, and select domain two as your catheter. Oh, we uh, we need to also enter the material content. So go back to liver tissue and follow the uh, look at base. This is based on the table on page ten of the tutorial online. So we just use epsilon liver permeability is one, conductivity is sigma liver and this one is K liver for thermal conductivity. The density and heat capacity constant uh, of the liver. Uh, in this tutorial it doesn't matter because it's a stationary uh, simulation. So we don't have to enter for that. But, but, uh, later on we're going to use the body heat equation and uh, we're going to be using analyzing the trends in the response, so we might as well add that to the uh, parameters here. And let's go ahead and add that part, which is the uh, CP liver. So CP liver is around 3,500, and the unit's going to be similar to this one, right? If you look online, it's around this, so I mean like this, this is going to be an approximate value. And the other one is the uh, density row liver. We can use the standard value of 1050. And the same unit here. Alright, cool. So under density, put row row, 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 liver, row, liver, okay, whenever you make something that is not defined already, it will be highlighted as uh, yellow, uh, so CP, liver, great. So now we have everything so for that part. Let's move on to the catheter. 
this one is FC cat mer conductivity is zero. This is a perfect insulator. Okay, we don't have to enter these values since it's not using the bioheat equation later on. I'll show you what I mean. It it only depends if you use it in the bioheat equation, but we're not using that. Okay, next part we need to add an error. So right click on materials, open material browser and uh built in built in built in built in air here and click on air great so air is now added and select domain 4 so since uh, the air part is just a small gap in this region here at that I think uh, that's all we have for the material uh, material part so I guess I'll save the next uh, section for the next video alright I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching yeah, make sure you're safe also.